All right, page 57, question five. Measure the quantity of site clearance and earthworks as we've done before, only, nothing more. All right, so if you're seeing a concrete structure here, leave that alone. They're not asking for any quantities for that. From the drawing below, taking the following into account. Rock is encountered 450 millimeters below natural ground level. What do we do there? 150 mil topsoil to be removed, we know what to do there. 70% of the excavated material is to be dust dumped a distance of 900 meters away from the structure. What do you do there? All right, so something new is coming in here. All right, so let's look at the structure. All right, you got it below ground level, right? Half a meter wide at the top, two meters wide at the bottom. Total depth, 1.875 meters. Thickness of that footing, 0 0.35 meters. And a total length of 15 meters. Please change that to 15 meters. All right, so we've got some kind of a retaining wall or foundation structure below ground level. And we're just being asked to do those things under these conditions. All right, so let's look at it. Let's look at it. All right, from the previous question, right? What is step one? Clear and what's this page 57? Clear and grub or site clearance, whichever you want to. All right, what are we dealing with? Notice again, no way in the question it says one, two, three, or four, five. So it's just one. So what is the effect going to be in our bill of quantities? Just one. All right, total length, we said change that to 15 meters and the width of two meters. All right, notice again, <clears throat> that's how long, that's how wide, plan view. That's all we talking in terms of clear and graph. All right, and we're getting an area of 30 meters squared. Step one, done. Step two, what's our step two? Excavation, right? All right, under excavation, we've got 2.1, right? From our previous question, the procedure remove topsoil. What's the number that comes to mind? 0 0.15 meters, always, doesn't change. All right, so we take our area from the top times the thickness of the topsoil and we get a volume of 4.5 meter cubed. All right, so then we've removed the topsoil. 2.2, excavate in all materials. Excavate in all materials. Before we do that, right? Before we do that, what is our new, new effective depth? What is our effective depth once we've applied this condition? Right, so effective depth. Is equal to 1.85 or 1.875. Right, subtract 0 0.15. Why did I do that? Is equal to 1.70 meters. Okay, effective depth. So what's our volume? If our volume for our area is 30 meters squared and our depth is 1.7 meters, we're getting what? 51 meter cube of earth to remove. Let's check that out. 51. All right, 51 cubic meters to be removed. Now, 2.3. The condition, rock is encountered 450 millimeters below ground level. Right, now that is an extra over. Extra over. All right, now let's calculate first, All right? What is the depth of the rock? So let's write here, effective, depth of rock, okay? What is it? So if, if we had 
going from the top to the bottom, it's 1.875, right? Because it says here, from natural ground level, from here, 450. All right, so 1.875 subtract 0 0.45 gives us what? 1875 1. subtract 0 0.45. All right, we're getting a depth of. One point four two five meters. Okay. Now you're going to be probably thinking, what about that? What about that? Do not confuse this calculation with this calculation. This is an extra over. Okay. And the question tells you not from below topsoil that the rock is encountered. Rock is encountered from the natural ground level. Okay, that is why you're not talking about topsoil or considering the topsoil 150 mil that we already removed. We want to find effective depth, right? And we found the effective depth of the rock to be that amount, that amount of, there to there. Right, we found this to be 1.425. All right, so let's calculate the amount of a rock now, just a rock. All right, we know the area is 30 meters squared times 1.425, and we get a value of how much? 30 times 1.425 and get 42.75 meter cube. Now, this is where students seem to get confused, all right? What is this? What is this? This is the amount of material, irrespective of what type that we have to take away. So put into a truck, okay, put into a truck and take away wherever. Okay. What is this now? Now, this is some of that. Notice it's some of that, it's not all of it, right? Because that little part is probably normal material. This is some of that. But the issue here is that it is rock. So rock. Now the problem is when it comes to costing. Remember when the machine works, it's gonna work harder to excavate rock, okay? So because it's working harder to excavate a rock, it is unfair to expect the contractor not to be paid for that extra work. So we pay him to move that kind or that much of material. But we'll pay them a little bit extra to excavate that kind, that much of material. Okay? Now, please don't ever do this. I recall I failed a student this entire subject. I failed her because you added that and that. You never add these two because a portion of that is this. That's all. The normal material plus rock. This is the rock portion, therefore the extra over. Okay, in your bill of quantities, can you see it's 2.3? It's an extra line item we're gonna pay him for to excavate that rock. Okay, but we pay him just to move that rock. Notice this is, sorry, move that material. Moving all the material, excavating the hard part. He gets paid for it, but they never, Never add it. They never add it. Think about it. Why would you add this to? What does this give you? What 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 significance is this number? If you add 51, 40, 93.7, what is it? 
if you can explain it to me i'll listen all right so this is the concept of extra o it's getting paid for harder work and you should anybody should because the machine is working harder more fuel more time more money now that is the concept of extra o how i got these numbers i ignored that because the question says from natural ground level from natural ground level doesn't say from below topsoil from natural ground level that is why i measured from there see all right so we accommodated the topsoil excavation extra over new concept now the question goes on to say 70% of the excavated material is to be dumped a distance of 900 meters away from the structure All right so let's look at that and that shall fall as number 3 and that we will call overhaul All right overhaul now let's look at sands 1200 what does it say about overhaul All right overall transportation you know of all excavated materials beyond the free haul distances applicable will be regarded as overhaul new concept free haul what are they talking about they saying this simply the first half a kilometer is free if the contractor had to move all that stock mile material to a distance of 1 km the first half 0.5 is free to the client the client only pays for 1 minus 0.5 0.5 km that's all he pays for that is what overhaul is it is a combination of free haul to form a new value of the haul distance basically how much is the contractor going to haul in terms of distance it's anything minus half a meter half a kilometer or 500 meters that's what it is. now let's see uh, let's let's apply that condition to the calculation All right. Let's see. How much of material are we hauling? How much of material are we hauling? We are hauling 51 meter cube plus 4.5 meter cube. Okay? All right so that's all the material that we need to overhaul what is this this is the excavated this is our topsoil all right remember topsoil can be about 4 and 1/2 cubic meters is a whole truck load there's cost attached to that all right so that's how much material we got but the question says <clears throat> 70% of the excavated is to be dumped which means 30% has to remain so let's remove 70% from here. All right so times 70% and we get a value of 38.85 cubic meters all right so we moving that now that's the new volume based on how much is going to be back for and accumulation of that all right 38 now applying the free haul condition or overall condition 0.85 times how far does the question say removing it 
900 meters, not 900 kilometers, 900 meters away. So 0 0.9 subtract 0 0.5. You know where we got this from, right? SABS or SANS 1200 free haul. The first 500 meters is free to the client. And do a calculation there. Thirty-eight point eight five times zero point four, and we're getting fifteen point five four. Now, what is the unit of this? Right, this is cubic meters. This is what distance. Right, so the unit for this is meter cube dot kilometer. That is the unit for overall. So let's see, have we done everything that this question has asked? We've taken into consideration the rock. We've done that, we've accounted for that, and we've used the 900. So basically, in short, we've done everything that this question asked for. Now let's tabulate this. Let's tabulate this. Let's say here, BOQ. Let's start. The, what are you saying? You're saying this is and reference. This is our factor. These are our dimensions a little bit bigger. This is our product. This is our description. A lot more space to write on. These are our units. And we're done. All right, so let's put that in. Um, this A, this A, and 1200 reference. And put its dimensions and what is this? Product. And this one is our description. And this is our unit. And last one, our quantity. All right, what's next? What's next? Measurement list. list. What is the first one? Site clearance. Excavation. 2.1. Remove topsoil. Two point two excavating all materials. Two point three. What's this? Extra over something new. And three point oh overall. That's our mission list. All right, what's happening? Can you see what's happening? Can you see how from the previous question to now, it's starting to grow, it's starting to grow. All right, let's tabulate this. Um, eight, two, one. In fact, uh, is one because there's only one of them. We got dimensions of 15 by two, you see 30, and this is what? Site clearance. And the unit is meter squared and the quantity is 30. Two, we've got excavation, 2.1. Remove top soil. And what are we saying here? Yeah, 8.2.10. We have one, and we think 30 times 0 0.15, and we're getting what? 4.5, and this is meter cubed, 4.5. All right, 2.2, .2, excavate. And what 
So condition the eight point three point two point A one. Seven, fifty-one. One, and this is meter cube, and that's fifty-one. All right, next one, two point three, extra over. And what is the condition for extra over? Let's look at it works. Extra over, All right? Eight point three point two point one up to eight point three point two B. Can you see that? B. So eight point three point two B one and fifty times one point four two and we got a volume of Forty-two point seven five. Forty-two point seven five, and that's meter cube. Forty-two point seven five. All right, finish that, and let's go to the last item in our book. Three point zero over all, and what do we get here? What is the condition to overhaul? Common sense, let's look at that. All right, overhaul. Oh. 5.2.52 or 5.2.51, both accommodating for free all, overall, and the 0 0.5. So either one applicable. All right. And we can use, let's use 5.2.5.2 or A, whichever one you want to. One. And this one is 51 and the same times 0 0.4. Oh, what did we get? No, 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 no. Same. times 0 0.4 and came up with 15.54. And here, the unit meter cube dot kilometer, and the value we found was 15.54. So, our calculations, two new concepts coming in here, extra over and overhaul. All right, spend a little bit more time trying to understand this in your head, all right? Not the same, this one is inside that one, all right? Overall, as we've explained, 0 0.5 kilometers is free to the client and only pays the remainder and quantified in that fashion.